Next, on This Week in Agribusiness, it's Max's Tractor Shed, spotlighting another great American tractor. It's a different kind of Max's Tractor Shed this weekend, focusing on the D21. It can be in your shed. I'll talk about that. Max's Tractor Shed, brought to you by Firestone Ag. If you farm harder than anyone else, you better be a Firestone farmer. We welcome to the desk this weekend the publisher of Heritage Iron Magazine, Heritage Iron website, Sherry Schaefer. Welcome. Hi, Max. Glad to be here. And there's a reason you're here, because we want to talk about the half century of progress. You've been involved in it since the very beginning almost, yes, haven't you? Yes, I missed the very first show thanks to Hurricane Isabel, but I've been at every single show since then. You bring a little bit different tractor to that show because of your Heritage Iron magazine. You bring in some of the higher horsepower tractors to display. Yes, we like to call it the muscle tractor shed. So uh, that's uh, we have our little muscle tractor corral there, and that's 100 horsepower, 100 horsepower plus is what we focus on. And your magazine is, what, 10 years old, I think, now? This year, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. And you're celebrating by giving away a tractor. We're doing it in a big way <laughs> at the Half Century of Progress show. A D21. Yes, we are. Alice Chalmers made those back in the 60s, as I recall, starting in the early 60s. They came out in 1963. And, and those were 100-horsepower uh, tractors? They were 103-horsepower PTO at that time. Tell me a little more about the D21. I've got the model here. I mean, the, the model itself is heavy. Oh, it is. Whoever wins, they've got to be, I mean, they're not winning the model. They're no. winning the big one. They have no. to be able to haul a 10,000 pound right. tractor. That's right. Get somebody to. Yes. Uh, the D21 came out in 63, and it was a natural aspirated engine. And in 65, they decided to turbocharge it. And that's when they came out with a Series 2. So the tractor we're giving away is a Series 1, but there was a conversion kit to upgrade it to the Series 2. So this is a Series 1, a 1963 model, but it has a turbo on it and a bigger front end and a lot of the options that weren't on a uh, Series 1 tractor. Nicely restored, I assume. It's an original tractor, but it's very it's a nice original, and you know you can't make an original. Oh, that's a good line. <laughs> uh, they can get more information at HeritageIron.com, right? Yes, you can, HeritageIron.com. What really appeals to you about that half-century show? I, I'm passionate about it because I was with it at the very beginning, of course, but what do you like about there it? There is so much to see, and when you think you've seen it all, go to Half Century and you'll see more because <laughs> Everybody tries to bring something there that nobody has seen before. And so many people will tell me, hey, we're getting our tractor painted up for half century. It's not, it's a destination for the tractor people. There's fields, field work, there's vendors, there's static displays, there's just everything. And some of the nicest people in the world. Yes, there are. We'll look forward to seeing you there, kiddo. Thanks for coming well, thank in to you. join us. Thanks for having me here. Sherry Schaefer, Heritage Iron Magazine, HeritageIron.com is where you can get a little bit more information. Half Century of Progress, HalfCenturyOfProgress.com.